Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bad Advisor for Everyone's Story Tragedy Represent and we are back once more and we are jumping in trying to get some more unlocks and we're going to play as a character we haven't played as yet we've got three characters we're yet to play as we've got um blue baby eve and samson even samson is still yet to get thumbnails so at least on my end obviously by the time this comes out they probably already have them but i'm going to play as blue baby because he has one and i'm really hyped to play as him um i think he's had some changes to how the poop works he's also got some cool sprites and uh, i think the poop pushes back now when you use it i didn't notice it there but maybe it's because these enemies are a bit too big we got a key off the bat. I'm apprehensive about going to alt floor, especially with Blue Baby. We know how hard spirit, spirit Hearts are to come by. By the way, this is possibly one of the worst rooms we could imagine feasible for us right now because there is just... Yep. Yep. I'm not going to I'm not gonna stick with that run. Anti-grav. <laughs> that seems like a, not a good idea to take, but let's try it out. Okay, we've been hit straight away. For some reason, I just assumed these were sternies, and they're definitely not. But yeah, the poop, I think you can, when you use it, it pushes enemies away. That's our key. But yeah, like I said, going to the alt floor, probably not a great idea for us, just because um, we, we really need to keep our soul hearts, and they are not as easy to come by anymore at all. I don't know what to think about taking this, by the way. I really don't. Blew up a lot of those, though. Um... Probably not a good idea in the long run. Oh, these guys chase, so uh, this is not a good conga line for you little flies. Not a good conga line at all. But there's one soul heart, and hopefully here's another. A small rock. I mean, it's it's still very, very good. Uh, but yes, anti-grab tears. I basically am taking out of uh, interest for synergies. Um, this has always been an item that has been cool with different synergies. Um... And yeah, I just, I, I think it's going to be interesting to find out if there's any more unique synergies that we can get to work with this. Because that, that would be, that would be really fun. I would absolutely love that. Step away from me, poop man. Also, you've got to remember that if you really, really hate it, but you want the fire rate up, we can just tap shoot. Like, we get all the fire rate and none of the downsides. It just, the only downside you get is a little bit of RSI. Your hand starts to hurt just a, just a wee little bit. But other than that, other than that, it's all benefits, no downsides. But I, I, I tend to just use it as uh, as it's intended. Um, one thing that would be kind of interesting with it is uh, maybe chocolate milk or something, because you've got the double charger. Also, chase enemies become easy. This boss is absurd. I don't know if it got changed in Repentance or if I just haven't fought it in a while. It is dumb. It spawns way too many of these poops, and it does it every time it charges. Luckily, very low HP. But yeah, basically all cardinal directions it fires a poop. I think we got a oh we got a, a one penny there. I thought we got a nickel. Yeah, you just got to be really careful around these dudes. Uh, we're getting this straight off the bat. We do not have the health requisite to uh, to go up here, so I'm just gonna leave. We're gonna aim to get our alt character, and this time we're not gonna forget to place a trinket down, are we? Because that would be really really dumb. They're getting to place a trinket down when that's literally the only requirement needed of me to get the uh, character unlock. Luckily, like I said, we're not going to be playing a bunch of the alts yet. I'm going to I'm gonna make my rounds through every character first. Um, at least, at least make sure we play every character once. Um, and then we can start thinking about playing the alts. I also, I would like to, before we start seriously going for unlocks on the alts, I'd, I'd like to get... Um, at least a few more characters with their um, with their beast kill, the, the new last boss, and their um, their mother kill. Like getting both of those done, a and I'll take Pinky Eye. Um, that would be that would be kind of what I what I'd want to see before we start doing all the alts. Like I said, I would love to just ask you guys what what you think I should do, but these are massively pre-recorded. I do apologize. That is the mi the biggest downside about a new DLC coming out and doing the videos the way I do is if I want to play the game a lot, it means I've got to record the game a lot, which means I've got to pre-record a lot, which means I can't really act towards and accordingly to what you guys are saying in the comments. I can still I, I still love reading them and I still really want you guys to comment whenever you whenever you can. But it's not, it's not as if I can change what I do in-game based on what you say. At least for a little bit. I'm, I'm sure we'll catch up at some point. But it might be a little while before we do. Probably like episode 30 or so before we catch up. I, re I remember I entered the Gungeon. It was like 45 episodes for Farewell to Arms before we caught up. So it might be a little while. Um, especially with the amount of content in this. 
But I'll get around to playing them. Uh, I also need to kind of figure out what I'm doing with thumbnails for them as well. I kind of mentioned that. Key beggar? I'm going to just blow you up. But key beggars are a lot better now that I know that Psyfly is in your pool. Now, I'm very glad I did that. Yeah, I got Psyfly from you and it got me my first uh, mother kill. So, I, I, respect, uh, I respect them a little more than I used to. Haha. -ha. You think you can steal a charge from me? But I have none, son. Bomber boy is actually pretty nice. I'll take bomber boy. Let's, let's fill up the uh, gap for the poops. Yeah, bomber boy's quite nice. Extra bombs, much bigger bomb radius. Jump in here. Yeah, extra trinket slot. Why not? I'll take what I can get. Ooh, they, they look different too. That's really cool. I like the way they look now. I like blue bombs. Um, secret room here, maybe? Hey. Secret rooms, especially second secret rooms, are a little more valuable now because we need the HP so much more. We do have this uh, trinket here that we could leave in an item room, but I'm not going to do that until we need to do that. I'm going to leave it for now. I can actually just do this here, look, and uh, stack them all up and he'll just dive into them. Kind of works out for us. There we go. Got him. That's good. Fire us up. That's going to give us um, firing speed. And this is pretty good as who we're playing as, I think. How do we want to do this? Right. Let me have a little look-see. Because Abaddon definitely changed. So let's go and take a look at the change log. And see how it changed. So. Continue to say. I should really just pin this. Ab, ah, uh, Abba, Don. Abaddon now only grants two black hearts, but also converts heart containers into black hearts instead of simply removing them. So essentially, what this is, is it's a one heart trade. So it will only cost us one heart. Yeah, and I think we take the nail as well, which I believe, yeah, only gives a half now, but it's still very good for us. It only gives a half, uh, but I can I can get behind that. And we go. So, took some risks there, definitely. Um, the nail being the biggest one, because we're now at pretty low HP. But now we can gain black hearts with uh, the nail. I think it's black hearts now, but like I said, you you do only get half now. It's mainly used more as the as, as the utility than it is of the um, than it is of the actual. Health itself. The health is secondary, essentially. So we'd like to go into our item room there. But Abaddon's given us that damage up we were looking for. And also put our health in a good place briefly. And then we we, uh, we then traded it all away. But I think a worthy trade. As long as we're not getting hit often, then the nail should slowly give us that health back over time. Although it will take quite a long time to get all that health back. But we'll find more health along the way. So, we should definitely do this room, if not just for the, um, well, that's good. I was going to say, if not just for the uh, extra charges, to be honest. And we do get the damage in this room, so this room will be particularly easy. As you can see, I've now resorted to uh, using the tap firing method for the most part, because it's just better and easier. But, as soon as we get a synergy for it, or a, re a better reason to use that than I will... A rotten heart. We can't, You cannot take rotten hearts at all on Blue Baby. Interesting to know. I thought that maybe have built in a special interaction for uh, Blue Baby to make sure he could utilize them, but it looks like that's not the case, which is a shame, but understandable. Understandable. But yeah, doing that room just for the three extra charges, pretty valuable. Don't you do that, sir. Don't you do that, sir. Right, good, good. Should we, do we take the pill? Probably not, right? Probably not. Okay, I also forgot that Abaddon gives fear shot too. I didn't even think about that. That's like that's always been a very secondary feature of Abaddon to me, so... Still very good. I love the new look of these bomb rocks, by the way. I mean, all the rocks now, the retextured rocks, look a lot better, but these bomb rocks especially look awesome. Oh, and again, the halves look fantastic with their, like, hunched over look that they've got now. Really good stuff. Grab that. Right, go back for our item room. We definitely didn't find it here. We got fate, we got fate, but that's not our item room item. 
thought we'd already been in this room. Obviously not the case. We got rid of the poop pretty early here, but without getting petrified poop early on, you, there's really no reason to keep it. I'm hoping we can find an extra trinket here just for also one to hold, but on another level, just um, it'll be another one to, to have because we have two slots, so why not? If you have two slots for trinkets, you probably want to be using them. Good, good. All of our stats are feeling real good right about now, though. For a blue baby run, this is pretty top tier. So these can still get us very easily when we're over the gap, so let's not rely on that. Fear, I don't know if fear has been changed, but recently I've been feeling that fear is just a lot more useful. Fear just feels better to use. I would go in there if there was a battery charge about. I was, I was thinking the game was just going to give me one there and be like, okay, do it, bitch. <laughs> I'm calling your bluff. Do it, fool. But luckily, it did not. There's that item room. What in the sheet? <laughs> I had to. I had to. This is this is weird. I love the fact that they like orbit you so closely and tightly to start with. This is bizarre. This is bizarre. But I love it. I definitely love it. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try this out then, shall we? I don't know if we want to tap shoot or not. That didn't hit me somehow. This is pretty good though. I'm liking it. Like the damage with the da like with how much damage we have, we're doing pretty good. Stapler also really helpful here, and we'll go down. We're gonna get a soul heart from that eternal. I think eternal hearts on the keeper should give you two soul hearts. I know that doesn't make sense logically, but it'd be really nice consolation prize. This is some good shit. <laughs> Being able to get Squeezy from the golden chest pool now is fantastic. That was scary. These guys get knocked around like crazy. The shot speed is mental. <laughs> but I was looking for a wacky synergy. This certainly is one, although this one is more vanilla, but as you can see, probably, I don't know if you guys can see, but Tiny Planet did get a pretty significant buff in the fact that its Tiny Planet orbit is a lot closer to you than it used to be. The, the tiers don't reach out as far, which means that you can more easily hit enemies with it. What is this new item? Stitches, bait and switch. Kind of interesting. I'm not going to use it. I have no need for it. But I can kind of see the use. That seems like there's a, a few certain rooms that I could be really good in. Like I imagine on like the, the mother fight, that could be really good. Pop up, fella. You know you want to. <laughs> Look at that. We can like set up a barrage and then wail into the enemy. Oh, steam sale. Awesome. What floor are we on? Caves 2. We've got plenty of shops left. Well, I said plenty. We've got two shops left, so that does uh, that does still work for us. These enemies that get bonked around like crazy are just too much. I like this, though. This is strange, and I love it. I love strange things, especially as, uh, as Blue Baby. Get that. I'm hoping for, like, one more... Stellar weird item. Okay, rooms like this are rooms where we get hit, so let's be careful. Yeah, I'm looking for one more really stellar weird item. That was very close to me being hit there. I really should have been hit, to be honest. Beans are pretty much everywhere I need to go to. Oh, it's the respited um, big horn. He looks so good. He definitely looks a lot more like the new boss. Because I, I, I think the new boss is meant to be, like, Mega Horn. Like, Big Big Horn sort of thing. Uh, but B Big Horn looking great. His resprite is fantastic. All of his animations are new. This is, like, a fully, fully resprited boss. He also seems like his patterns are a little bit different as well, to be honest. I love that. That's That, that looks amazing. More tears up. Holy hell. Deal with the devil. We have to. Our health is bad, but we have to take this. Even if I die, this run is fun now. 
Like, this run was already fun. That makes this run absurdly good. Yep. Yep. That's, uh, that's pretty powerful. That's gonna be pretty good stuff. It's got homing. It's got spectral. It's got all the stuff we need. We need to try and get some, uh, black hearts here. There's one. Sun card. Two of diamonds. I'll take that now. Sun card's really good for us here. I'll take the mini charge. Jump on in here. Use this. Oh, that was a very, very good chest. Okay, so this was a very worthwhile pickup now. Clearly. The, the shot speed. Is, is it Tiny Planet that's giving us such insane shot speed? Or is it like anti-grav? I really don't know, but our shot speed like scales so fast. It's mental. Rubber baby 2.0. Nothing brilliant, but I will definitely take it. But this is the like one extra item I was thinking of to really make this wacky. We got it. We got it. I have a Lyle. Fantastic stuff. Almost took that full battery charge there. Definitely want to beat a combat room before we do that. Make sure it's a single charge combat room though. There's no point wasting stuff. Come on. Let's be smart about this. Bomb beggar there. I'll definitely use the bomb beggar because we've got... Um, I swear, enemies that, like, that have this sort of weightlessness to them are impossible to not get hit by. We just knock them around way too much. Okay. Also, just just so I don't forget, just so I don't forget, by the way, I'm going to go and place my trinket in the Depths 1 item room. I don't need the trinket anymore. Let's just leave it here. Just so we don't forget next floor. While I remember right now, because it'll still be on Depths 1. It'll still be on Depths 1. Good, good. Let's uh, bomb both of these. That was well worth it. Oh, we need to go bounce down to our bomb beggar as well. Bomb beggar, bomb beggar. Give me some bombs. I mean, you no longer give bombs, but you know what I mean. Give me a bomb upgrade. That's really cool. Like Enigma bombs would be awesome. Brimstone bombs. We haven't seen them yet. They'd be a really cool addition to our roster right now. A penny. A singular penny. Okay, we're on five bombs now, dude. Dude, this is getting a little ridiculous. That is... That is absurd. <laughs> that guy did not pay out at all. And we still... We need a bomb on next floor. We need a bomb next floor. Because otherwise we don't get a teleport card. I'm a dumb. I'm a dumb. Oh, no. Wait. The nail lets you crush rocks, doesn't it? The nail lets you crush rocks, I'm pretty sure. I haven't actually checked that, but it should still it should still work that way. Good. Yep, had a feeling. Had a feeling. Boom. Also, this isn't actually that good single target damage. I was expecting it to be better. It's not great, which is bad for us because we're about to fight a boss. Wow, have we got hit there? Okay. That's nice. I'll take that. Shot speed is always always good. Um, let me just try this real quick. Yep, that still works. Good. Shoot, I was literally just testing it, and I get that lucky. Okay, like I said, if we can get one more just stellar damage item or tier effect item. Right, let's let's look out for our rock. Not, not our rock, sorry, our skull. Our tinted skull. Clears rooms like crazy, this thing. Clears rooms like crazy. Can't believe our bomb bag didn't pay out. I'm upset at him. He didn't do his job properly. 
I just love that we can build up this death ring, then walk up to things and just be like, <laughs> So good. Did we go to our shop last floor as well? Because we have Steam Sale. I probably not. I probably forgot. Heck no, am I re-rolling this run? This run's super cool. This run is super, super cool. Joker card. Um, we might as well use that now, I think, because we're going to need the teleport card anyway, so we can't keep it on us. So yeah, let's use this now. Yeah, good. Now we now we know that we don't care. <laughs> really? Two pennies? That's not a very good chest. Yeah, careful you. There's our shop. We haven't been to our item room yet, so that's actually valuable, this floor. And I'll, I'll honestly, let's just use that and then grab this. Why not? We'll keep the charge available because we don't have any bombs yet. I know we probably could have just bought one there, but we might as well just save one. Okay, so no, no tinted skull in here. And... Oh, you do not get to cheat, uh, steal my charge. Distant admiration, obviously not very good for us. Okay, oh, these guys again. These guys are nightmares. Luckily, we got him. This room? Twice? Twice now? Even with flight, this room's annoying. Uh, we do not have our teleport card yet. Let's not go in there first. Um, still need to find it. Where are you, Mr. Skull? Tinted Skull, where are you? I'm looking for you, Tinted Skull. The sun card. Do we just use the sun card now, I guess? Got you really that hit me? Oh my god. That was a that was a sad, sad hit right there. That was a sad, sad hit. Grab that. There's our three bombs. Wait, so we've missed the tinted skull somewhere. We've already seen it. Die, fella. Where the hell is it? We've missed it somewhere. Not in this room. Not in this room. Not in this room. Not in this room. Hmm. How have I missed it? Not in this room. Where? Is it in is it in here by any chance? No, it's not. Okay. Not in that room. Hmm. How peculiar. Not in this room. I'd have thought it would be in here, but very clearly not. Not that one. There it is. I found it. I found it. So yeah, let's just use our sun card now. I found it. And we use that in here to get the extra damage. Oh my god. That is, to be fair, that is quite a lot of damage if you stack it up right. Already been in here, so this doesn't matter. Full card out. And let's go. We did place a trinket, so we're good for that. And there you go. Let's go get an unlock. Let's go do it. Cool run. Right, we do have an item room and shop on this floor, remember? I keep forgetting that we that we always have an item room and shop on this floor. Dude, we've not been to Mausoleum yet. We keep going. Gotcha. The fear is also just protecting us so much. Like I said, the fear is uh, a lot better than I was expecting it to be. I don't know if it's just I've been underrating it all this time or forgetting about it or what, but it feels really good to have. Card. Hierophon is perfect to keep. I'll probably even hold that the whole way. Gotcha. Okay, Soul Heart here as well. Being able to fly is... Oh, being able to fly is so good. Right.
right. Good, good. Don't need keys for anything, really. Save all of them up. I just love how fast they, like, spin around us. It feels, it feels so chaotic and crazy. We got ourselves Suicide King. Heck no. Now is not the time, Suicide King. I would love, love to take the eraser and just see what it does to the boss, but it won't do anything. There's no way they've, they've like pre-programmed something in for the eraser to do something with that, but that would be so cool if there was. Having, oh wait, there's been a bit of a resprite to the, um, to the health icons with their... Uh, Rubber baby, um, rubber spider, whatever it's called. They're ve they're very nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, that that looks a lot better than it did before. It's a lot clearer. Also, something I keep forgetting to turn on. Apparently, this is really good. That's it. Yeah, d turned it on. Apparently, this is really good. High visibility tears. Right, let's go back and get that uh, that spirit heart wherever it was. Was it like up this way somewhere? No. But yeah, um Apparently high visibility tears is really good. And it, it helps out a lot with um with a lot of different builds. So like ones where you have red tears where you can't tell yours between the enemies. And, and mine is especially one of those sort of ones. Where it's just kind of a clusterfuck of tears on the screen. Apparently it helps a lot with those. I wonder if having this would give the witness a um, mother, like, a health bar. What did I get hit by then? Do these skulls deal contact damage? They probably do. I don't know why I would assume they, do, they don't. Good stuff. We still need to find our, um, our thingy room. Oh! Yeah, we still need to find out. Oh my god. Sir, no thank you. Our item room. Our thingy room. I'm so bad at remembering things while I'm in the middle of talking. Temperance. I kind of wish I'd have been able to blow up that a minute ago with that bomb. But hey, her. That's a lot of money. Oh, the dime sound. It's so satisfying. Well, this room is saucy AF. Might as such or random. We go for random. Daddy long legs, pretty good. Randoms are risky this late on, but I will I will take it. Okay, here we go. Dad's nerd. So now we've got to go to depths one. It's gone. Just get over this is Mausoleum it. 2, so this is the floor we just did. Open you have spent our saving. There we go. So we did that already. So we need it's depths one we need to go to. So this is depths two. We'll still check the item room nonetheless, but because it does it's free. But I'm pretty sure it's the next floor. Yeah, the high visibility is nice. It just gives them like a sort of white glow. It's not it's not very intrusive at all, but it still it still gives it a very distinct look. So it's this floor here, I believe. I wonder who they got to do the voices for this. It's really good. Oh come on. Fuck your head up, little boy. Nice, there you go. Yeah, that's really nice. I, I, I'll probably end up keeping that on for a little bit and try it out for a few runs at least. Don't go up yet. Even works on the burns too. Nice, we'll use that. All black hearts, that's good. That's more damage for us, essentially. Rubber baby 2.0 can help us out with that guy. Come on, item room, where are you? You're hiding nowhere. There we go. 
Oh, that guy had like a different health bar because he was a champion as well. There it is. Oh, we're going to have to use the Hierophant now. I for completely forgot about that. I mean, at least we were a health down and actually needed to use it. But I completely forgot that you kind of have to go and take the cracked key. But we got it now. It means we can at least unlock Blue Baby's ult. Oh, it's one of these guys again. Oh my god. This thing, you can tell how much damage we have considering... Are you kidding? There's go, those shots go all the way out. Heck in hell. There's that item again. We don't want that. Good, good. This is a Mega Fly, I'm guessing? Oh my god. That is a Mega Fly indeed. Awesome. I would have thought with the addition of some of the new enemies down here that have made these floors a bit harder than they are. Because most of the rooms, like some of the rooms are harder, but most of the rooms are normal. Like some of the rooms have these new enemies and then just some of them don't, don't have anything new at all. It's kind of a weird mix between normal difficulty of normal runs and then this. So if I Yera and then go like that and then pick that up. I made a red I made a red room sacrifice room. Boom. At least that health bar shows up when you're about to be able to hit them. That's a very good indication, isn't it? <laughs> right. Got them all. I, I really love this run. It's it's very spicy on the um very spicy on the are we gonna be able to kill the boss sort of way, especially the last one, because we have very limited range. But I'm excited to see. Daddy Longlegs is also a big help too. I kind of wonder how he's going to function. Really? I kind of wonder how he's going to function. I should probably take this. I'm hoping we can get to full health before we get to the, the uh, last the last floor of all this. I'm hoping at least. I was saying I was going to get RSI from tap shooting, but now, now my finger's just hurting from holding down the key for too long. I've got the exact opposite problem. Or the same problem, the exact opposite way. Yeah, I like the way they have like a blue health bar when they have like really high health, or if they're like a bigger version of an enemy. Imagine this with soy milk. Would love that. That's the one thing I dislike about this a little bit more than the other normal paths. You don't get as much wackiness in your runs because you don't get to see as many items. Like, we're, we're basically missing out on like three deals with the devils and like five, six, seven items when we do these runs. Okay, this guy probably going to hit us, isn't it? We're all right, we're all right. Bit spicy. We're back up to full HP again, exactly what I wanted. So let's see if we can keep that. We're on basement two at the minute, so one more floor. Look at that, that's brilliant. So fortune tellers are a guaranteed thing down here. That's great to know. But we don't need it particularly. Let's go. Here we are, last last basement. So yeah, th these, these floors are definitely predetermined. Of course I got hit because of the flies spawning on me. Stop knocking him into me, you stupid tears. Literally the exact opposite of what we'd want. Got him. <clears throat> okay. Boom. Use the nail there. Probably shouldn't have used the nail, actually, because I could have got the damage out of it when we go to the boss fight. This thing is absurdly strong. And also has split shots when it hits walls, which is very scary. But at least it doesn't do any death shots. It doesn't have a death rattle going on. Hanged Man isn't anywhere near as useful as our cracked key. Cool. Stab through all of those guys. The Lost Purster. Lost Purster? Nah, I'm not, I'm not going to take Lost Purser. 
kind of dumb. Right, uh, let's try and charge up our active real quick. A few extra rooms. As long as we don't get hit, I'll be happy. The moon. I've never been to secret rooms in this area, but still, oh, we shouldn't have come in this room. This was obviously going to be the monster room. That was obvious. Super, super obvious. Oh, for God's sake, that, that monster jumped right as I let out my barrage on him. Don't you do it again. I'll wait till he lands this time. I'm getting confused by the uh, by the shadow from my stupid daddy long legs. I keep thinking that's the shadow chasing me. It's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. Right, so now we have this charged. Let's go. Right, we're here. We get ourselves strength. I will come back for the strength card if I can. I don't know if I can. Right. Go. Let's um, pop this. Oh, blue baby looking very turdy. The soil. The soiled is called. Lovely. So we can come back for this good. Come back and grab our card. We're not going to use strength on dogma. We'll, we'll save it for, this, for the second bit. Right. We keep getting that. Also, I'm pretty sure we can use the nail on both phases because I think you get a charge when you start the next phase. So that's fine. So let's see what we can do here. I watched a video of how to flawless dogma as well, so we should be a little better off with that. Let's have a little look at this. I love this intro sequence card. It looks so good. Okay. Of course, we do not have the um, the nice ability to um, do some of the stuff we had before. Okay, I did get hit there. That's okay. Our damage is pretty good. Oh no, you didn't do you didn't do that the way you normally do it, fool. That's mean. Okay, there we got that. We're two hearts down. Yeah, it kind of looks up a way to flawless this guy, so I do know better now how to dodge a lot of his attacks. Honestly, though, we have to get so close to him to hit him that I don't think we're going to have a good time at all. Yeah, we're fucked already. Oh, for God's sake, we're so fucked. Sexual immorality. I'm just listening to like the stuff that's happening in the background now. It's kind of wacky. So essentially you meant to like zigzag up and down like this, but you gotta dodge through the feathers at the same time, so it's really hard. And he does it for a really long time too. But I'm getting better at it. I didn't get hit anywhere near as many times as I did before. Okay, we got him. This is pretty good. We're doing well. Okay. We didn't get a charge of our space bar item though. I thought we were going to get a charge of our space right, and I wouldn't have used it otherwise. So, our biggest problem right now is our range is just shocking. We have a re we're going to have a really hard time getting up close and personal. I think we just got to abide, abide our time. Oh, we actually get to see health bars. We actually get to see health bars. We've lost our holy mantle. We've got hit. Yeah, we actually get to see health bars here. That's fantastic for us. Also, we seem to now have this perpetual ring, which I don't really know how I managed to produce. Which I'm very happy about. I don't know why I've done this. It was such a bad idea. I've, like, got myself stuck in the middle of all this crap. And I've set up... I've now set up a poison thing. Okay. I don't know how we've done this, but we've created this absolute death ring, which is amazing. Like, what, what is this? Where did this come from? <laughs> it's it's awesome. The, the bullets just don't dissipate. Holy fuck. We, like, annihilated him as he entered the stage there. Oh, I just... I think I just realized something, you know. I don't think the... I don't think these guys have boss health as they enter the stage. I think they only gain their boss health once you actually, like, 
fully enter the stage. So we can we can more easily like super damage them if we get them as they're entering. Let's see if this is true. No, maybe maybe you just got lucky. Holy fuck, we are we are this is so much better damage than I was expecting from this run. This ended up being super powerful for this. We still might die. I'm not I'm not guaranteeing a win here by any means. But this is definitely a lot better than I was expecting to to, to be doing. A lot better. Here he is. Here come that boy. This is going to be the biggest guy that, that I have a problem with. Because I have to stay really close to him. Wait, we can destroy these? Wait, can we just sit here? Yes, we can. We don't even have to move. We have enough damage to destroy these things. Obviously not the fire. Oh, wait, what? No. Okay, he can quite literally suck you all the way in. Good to know. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. He has so much health left too. Oh my god, we might die just because I keep forgetting how this guy works. Okay, that one fell. We've lost our um, our ring. Okay, so he swapped sides multiple times. He didn't do that the first time. He did not do that the first time. I'm not exactly sure where our eye ring has gone. Okay, it's coming back. It's coming back. He seems to have a few different attacks, though. Like, we didn't see the fire ring one this time at all, and we managed to get him. Holy shit. That was a spicy run. We managed to get a super cool, uh, super cool thing there. Oh my god. Awesome. That is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Ne yet another win. Yet another check mark done. And honestly, we're doing it as characters that I wouldn't expect. So also, let's go and check how, um, how Farty Blue Baby works. No bombs, only poop. <laughs> I love that description. No bombs, only poop. Hold. What? Whoa, I wonder how we charge. Let me let me see how we charge this. How do we charge this up? So, do I have to destroy poops to charge this? Oh, no, there you go. We got a, we got a charge. Then we can throw that. And hitting that gives us a fly. So we just get a bit a bunch of different various poops that we can use on enemies. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And his mouth is just full of shit too. So how often do we get those then? Let's let's figure this out. Let's So there you go. He just he just shits them out. It's not by killing enemies or anything. And this time we got a regular old poop. Then we go like that. And we can throw that at enemies to hurt them. This time we got a flaming poop. Okay, I quite like this. This is cool, but again. We're checking it out, but we're going to go back to him at a later date. I just wanted to show him off real quick. And we're going to try, essentially, we're probably going to try and unlock each one of these before we play them fully in full runs. I'll, I'll, call, I'll sort of reconvene with my Discord and sort of see how they feel about that. But either way, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.